Hi, I'm Bruce Pattinson from the Total Education Centre. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture and don't forget that these lectures are brought to you free. So if you give us a like, that'd be great. And don't forget, if you have any questions or any queries, click on the button below, write me a question, and we'll surely get back to you as quickly as possible. Don't forget, if you're a subscriber to our channel, you can get to select the videos that you want to have made. And if you really need some extra help, don't forget, go to our website, because on the website you have all the student notes and teacher notes for the topics that I'm lecturing on. These lectures are only in addition to those and they'll give you all the detail that you require to do well in your studies. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the video. Hello, welcome to another lecture from Total Education Centre. My name's Bruce Pattinson. Today I'm going to talk to you about Cloud Street that epic Australian novel by Tim Winton that's been so popular and so successful since its publication. Today's lecture will include some of the context, a little bit about the author, and some general notes on the text before we move into the more specific areas. I hope you enjoy this lecture. Thank you. Cloud Street's very, very Australian in its context, and Winton takes particular care in making it an iconic Australian novel in the fact that it covers a period of time when Australia was a very innocent country. It covers from the period of the 1940s post-war to the beginning of the 1960s. At the beginning of the 1960s, there are a couple of incidents historically in the novel that changed the way Australians saw themselves and their place in the world. Australia became a less innocent place, and this is reflected in some of the events in the novel. I'd like to mention these two events specifically. The first one is the Netherlands monster and Eric Cook. Now in the novel, um, we see characters affected by what happens in this. And he was a real historical figure in West Australian history. The Netherlands monster was a murderer, Eric Cook. And what he did was change the way West Australians saw themselves from a very innocent country um, state to a far more dangerous place to live in many ways. The Netherlands monster caused a great deal of consternation in, in Western Australia and especially in the Perth district and a huge manhunt took place. Eventually they caught Eric Cook, he was hung and as indicated in the novel, his son was drowned just a couple of days prior to his hanging. The son was of course mentally retarded. Eric Cook himself had been victimised and traumatised as a child and this is reflected in a lot of what happens in the novel and so we have some sympathy for him and we see the characters like Quick have some sympathy for this crazed murderer. The second incident is the assassination of John F. Kennedy, a worldwide incident. Many people remember very specifically um, where they were when that happened and some people consider that to be a, a, an event that changed the way the world saw itself and it became a very um, less innocent world as such in their own right. So the context is Australian but it also goes outside Australia and shows our place in the world. The next thing I'd like to talk about is how Winton engineered what he sees as an Australian way and why it's so such a nostalgic view of Australia. Cloud Street, that wonderful Australian book that we, we're talking about at the moment. Cloud Street's a very impressive novel and as you can see it's quite a sizable novel as well. It covers a very extended period of time in Australian history as I mentioned in the earlier section. It was written in the late 1980s and um, published in 1991. It took quite an extensive time to write. Part of it was that Winton was overseas during the time. He was both in France and in Europe in general. And what happened was it seems to be it made the novel a little bit more nostalgic for what he wanted Australia to be like. An Australia of the past, an Australia of his grandparents and parents. We notice the novel is dedicated to his grandparents with love and gratitude and indeed if you look at some of Winton's biographical material you'll see that his grandmother actually lived in a tent out in the backyard. There's, the novel itself echoes with nostalgia a particularly Australian way of life and particular a sentimental look at family and family is one of the ideas that we'll talk about in some of the later lectures. He talks about the power of family and the sort of tolerance that it can bring. In a more general contextual nature, I'd like to talk about how Winton 
brings it and, and to do that I'd like to talk about an article that Lynn McCredden wrote and she says reading Tim Winton's rollicking heartbreaking hopeful saga Cloud Street you are immersed in Australia its histories its peoples its changing values and its multiple longings it is an Australia imagined large and sprawling but also an ordinary intimate detail from a particular dot on a map working class Perth, Western Australia, from the 1940s to the 1960s. Numerously, lyrically and poignantly, the novel probes questions of where and how to belong. Already transient and haunted, belonging is a precious but fragile dream in the midst of family, friends and neighbours. Now you'll find that full quote and all the links to that in the notes that I've written for this lecture that you'll find on our website. But I'd like to finish off this, this brief section by looking at another quote. And this is from an article in the Guardian newspaper and its reviews of the novel. And it says of Winton, In 1987, a writing fellowship took him to Paris and then to County Offaly Island for six months. And there he wrote Cloud Street, which commandeered his own family stories. The grandmother who lived in a tent in her backyard, the farmers forced to leave their land, the grandfather who worked at the Mint, the fundamentalist Christianity, the wharfies and the marksmen, the gamblers and the drinkers, and made them a baggy, unashamedly poetic and non-naturalistic, but also hyper-real and absorbing saga of two poor families rubbing along in a big house in Perth. Cloud Streets get you inside the very skin of a post-war working class Australia, the way Joyce makes you feel like a turn of the century Dubliner. And I think that that sums up the, the context of Cloud Street very clearly. It is extremely Australian, but it's got a broader universal appeal. And I think that's what's made this, this novel, Cloud Street, a modern Australian classic, as it says on the front cover. We need to look at that further as we examine and go deep into all the detail of Cloud Street in further lectures. I think it's worth noting that when we look at Cloud Street, we don't just think of it as an Australian novel, although it is very Australian and we study it for that purpose. Cloud Street has several wider ideas in it that apply on a sort of universal scale and that's what we're going to look at in these later lectures. What I'd like you to remember from just this very short contextual lecture is there are certain incidents in the novel that are of particular importance in the context of the novel in Australia. It's got some very unique and very identifiable Australian characters and Winton takes those characters and extrapolates them into something that's a little bit more, a little bit larger than life. It's also a very nostalgic look at Australia and the way it was. And yet it's still relevant to a modern audience and it's become an extremely popular novel and always, probably always will be. For the very fact that Winton explores the identity of Australia through these particular characters that represent his family and um, an amalgam of people that he and places that he knew. It's also nostalgic because Winton was overseas at the time and probably looking back on a period of Australian history that was a far more innocent and naive world and people could get along like the lambs do really and Lester Lamb without being too bright and without really being able to um, conquer the world as such. He also shows some of the hypocrisy of the cultured society through the journalists that, um, that we see in the novel and the, the poetry that he writes. And it's a, it's a very nice reflection of Australian society. Don't forget, if you want any more or further details, you can go to the unit of work we have on the website and download that. That will um, build on all the ideas I've talked about here, and we can look at some other ideas in the future. Other lectures in this Cloud Street series will look at the ideas of the novel, the characters of the novel. Of course, we'll have a look at setting, and then we'll, we'll look at some of the critical studies and how other people have appraised that novel so you can formulate your own opinion. That's all we have time for today. I'd like to thank you for watching this Total Education video. I'm Bruce Pattinson. I really hope you got something out of this. And don't forget, visit our website. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.